Those of you who have watched my earlier videos or read my channel description probably already know that almost all of my videos on this channel are based on my book Dialogue with a Christian Proselytizer. Now as a general rule, I try to keep the focus of my videos just on the ideas in my book and not talk so much about the book itself because I don't want this channel just to seem like, um, self uh, like a self-promoting infomercial. But I will make an exception now for this video and for my next video, which will be called Details of Dialogue with a Christian Proselytizer. These videos will be just um, shameless self-promotion, so be forewarned. All right, for those of you who are still with me, the first thing I want to say is that the 2008 edition uh, is finally done. I feel the, um, this revision is a lot stronger than the 2006 edition in many ways, but it still has the same uh, basic structure. That is, it's it's a Socratic dialogue between a Christian proselytizer slash apologist and a skeptic. And it still has the same main three themes to it. Uh, first theme is if you understand why you reject all the other religions, you'll understand why I reject yours. And I'll go into the details of this theme in my next video, the one called Details of Dialogue with a Christian Proselytizer. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to give a brief high-level overview. All right, the second theme of this book is uh, secular marveling at humans' handiwork in the creation of the world's religions. Um, that is the stunning range of creativity and compassion and cruelty and ingenuity and absurdity. So there is a, a certain type of a Joseph Campbell uh, type of appreciation of world religions or world mythologies uh, quality to my book because um, I spent some time looking at scriptural passages, not only from the Judeo-Christian Bible, uh, but I also look at the comparable passages from uh, the sacred texts of Baha'ism and Buddhism, uh, Hinduism, Islam, uh, uh, Jainism, Sikhism, Taoism, Zoroastrianism, and I also look at uh, mythology and folklore from the Aztecs and the Babylonians and from Egypt, from Greece, Japan, Kenya, the Native Americans, Nigeria, uh, the Pygmies, the Sumerians, the Vikings, and others too. The last theme of dialogue with the Christian proselytizer is something that's not present in the dialogue itself, but in the short essays that make up the end notes. And the end notes in the 2008 edition have grown to make up um, close to a full third of the book. And it's in the end notes that I do explore atheism. Uh, I do discuss it. Um, and this includes essays on how, well, when it comes to explaining subjects like um, our origins and our ethics and the problem of suffering, the non-theistic approach uh, makes sense out of life with a clarity and a coherence that's unmatched by any variety of theism. All right, next item on my list here is that you probably won't be able to find my book in bookstores anytime soon but it is available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com and uh, my, book, my publisher's site, which is BookLocker.com and most other online bookstores as well. Uh, also, in case you're the type that likes reading customer reviews, uh, my book site on Amazon has 11 reviews of, as of today. Uh, several were written by people who happen to be voted as Amazon top reviewers, and those reviewers do tend to be very good writers. Um, also, it's my totally unbiased opinion that the reviews that gave my book five stars just happened to be the best, uh, most well-written, that is. So um, if you want to enjoy the best writing and save some time, you can um, save that time by just reading the five-star reviews. All right, next item on my list. I said I feel the revision is a big improvement over the uh, original, and to a large extent, that's thanks to all the feedback I received. And that includes readers of the 2006, 2006 edition who wrote to me through YouTube or through MySpace or through Facebook. And, and it also includes the YouTube viewers who commented on the videos I made in 2007. Um, it certainly helped my writing to get feedback from several hundred people. And this includes the feedback I got from theists and non-theists alike. I'd like to thank uh, three people in particular, uh, Greg Benson for his scientific expertise and his careful editing of the 2008 edition, uh, and a viewer by the YouTube, uh, YouTube name of Small Town Atheist and his wife, uh, as they uh, generously, generously volunteered their time to uh, help me with the final uh, read out loud proofreading of the 2008 edition. All right, fifth and last item here on my list, uh, as long as I'm engaging in shameless self-promotion, um, I'm going to also mention my other two YouTube channels. Um, one is Todd Allen Gates 2, that's with the Arabic numeral 2 at the end. 
Uh, and that's where I discuss the ideas in my other book, Hunting, Gathering, and Video Games. Uh, and this book uh, explores questions like, why do we have to work? Why do we have to use money? And how do we measure or even define the word success? And I call it Hunting, Gathering, and Video Games uh, because one of the things I do in this book is trace the common link between the workday of the prehistoric hunter-gatherer and today's video game programmer. All right, my uh, other channel is just called Todd Gates, and that's my musician channel. Uh, most of my videos on my musician channel are just of me playing my main instrument, which is the piano. Uh, but I also have a few of me playing my second instrument, the harmonica, and I'm going to close uh, with a sample of that. All right, the harmonica gets a little loud, so I'm going to back up. Thanks for watching.